Hey guys, what's up? It's Bex and Bob, and we're back with another video. Today we are going to be doing a oh, one video and part of my summer makeup series that I'm going to be doing. This is what I like to call the bronzed goddess look. So if you guys would like to see more Bob content, see how I put this look together, stay tuned. You're in the right place. Let's get right on in. So I'm going to prime and just prep my skin a little bit. We're going to use the Farsali. This is the Rose Gold Skin Mist. And as you can see, it's time for me to buy some more. Really hydrate the skin. Get it nice and glowy and dewy because that's the whole point of this look, is to look like a bronzed goddess who is not dying from the 100 degree weather here in Vegas. Let's go ahead and get a nice base on those eyes. Of course, we're gonna use Tried and True, the P. Louise. This is the base, and this is in the shade Rumor 0.5. Do you guys have any plans this summer? Going anywhere? I don't really have any set plans. I know I'm gonna go see my friend Patrick. I'm gonna go visit him in North Carolina. I wanna try to go back to Virginia and see my friends, but we'll see. We'll see where the summer takes me. I will say though, however, this is my first summer single, so I'm really excited about it. I get to plan my own trips around myself and my friends and my family and not worry about someone else. Now, of course, those out there, if you have a boyfriend, girlfriend, significant other, husband, wife, whoever, I'm happy for you. But of course, for me, with this being my first single summer, a very long time, over a decade, I'm really excited about it just just because it's something new for me. It's a new adventure. It's the guy that I have a crush on that's texting me. <laughs> Which is interesting. We reconnected after not talking to each other for like, um, after not having contact for like 10 years because I moved away. So he just got back from uh, chaperoning a bush gardens trip for his daughter's school. So <laughs> I'm single. I'm enjoying my summer. Like I said, I trust that things will happen the way they're supposed to happen. All right. So of course we're going to use the P. Louise, this is the taste palette. This is from my uh, advent calendar, which pop somewhere around here. We'll pop in a little thumbnail for you to go watch that video next. It's the unboxing, well, it's from the unboxing of the P. Louise advent calendar. So look at these beautiful shades. So many shade ranges and I'm excited. So of course we need to set this eye look. We're gonna go in with a big fluffy brush, of course. We're gonna use the shade Funfetti and Games. And also the reason I'm texting him while I'm filming is because he is three hours ahead of me and I haven't really talked to him today because, you know, he's been with his daughter and having a good time. So, just happy to hear from him push out any of these creases before we set it. Just really get a good base on there. All right, and you know what I forgot? I forgot to put down some eye cream because we definitely need that. Of course he rings the freaking bells. Probably come up in a second and be like, mom. Because we definitely want this under eye really hydrated. So now we're gonna go in, I'm going to set my brows. Obviously, 
For this look, we're not gonna be doing eyebrows just because bronzed goddesses don't need any because they have full, fluffy, gorgeous eyebrows. So we're gonna go in with the NYX. This is the brow glue. And actually it's upside down. So you just comb this spoolie through like such. Hi, sweet boy, just wait a second because we want it to be fluffy, fluffy brows. That was a dog. <laughs> that was him like knocking me up like, mom, let's go. And obviously you can see some sparse parts, but that's a-okay. Let's do the other side real quick. Because it seems like we need to go for a longer walk, huh? So hold on a second. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna be right back because obviously the dogs need to go out. All right, we're back. We're back. We're gonna go in now with a super fluffy brush. And we're gonna go in with more of a transition-ish -y shade. Uh, let's see, we're going to do so creamy. So creamy, let's see what that looks like on. Oh yeah, that's perfect. What are some summer makeup ideas, tips, tricks, things like that since I do live in the desert where it is so dry and so hot? Is there anything that you want me to try out to show you how I use, how I keep my makeup looking fresh in this god awful heat? Just leave a comment below. Also, if you do like these videos, giving me a little thumbs up, a little like, actually helps show me that you like these type of videos, as well as it shows YouTube that you like them as well, and that maybe others will. Helps my channel grow. I would love it if you guys helped me. All right, that is perfect. So, same brush. We're going to go in with Smack That. We're keeping most of that color right in here and then slowly pushing it over very lightly. I'm excited to hear about what your plans are this summer. Do you guys have any family traditions of places that you go, places that you visit? Do you visit family or do you always take a beach vacation? When I was growing up, because we were very poor growing up, we would go and spend time with family. So sometimes it would be in the mountains where our family was, like great aunts and uncles. Other times it would be at my grandma's house. And that is, that is how we did a summer vacation. All right, so next up we're gonna use a similar fluffy brush, not as fluffy, but it is a little bit more flat as you can see. We're gonna go in with the shade Bon Appetit. Concentrate this more in my crease. What I like about P. Louise makeup products is that she has a very all-inclusive shade range where she has colors that would look amazing on every skin tone. And I love the price point as well and her products blend seamlessly and i've never had any issues with any of them p louise sponsor me <laughs> now we're gonna go in with more of a flat brush like this and this is where we're gonna start working on our our bronze look we're gonna do I don't know if I want perfect batch or if I want star baked. Let's do star baked. It's more of a goldeny. Actually, it's called star baker. It's very pretty. Now, sometimes metallic shades like this don't always come off on a brush like this, which I thought might be the issue, but that is okay. A okay. Don't fret, my friends. I'm gonna get a baby wipe 
because we are for sure gonna get a little messy with my fingers. All right, let's try this again, round two. Look at that. Oh yeah, much better. Put some on the inner corner right there. Same thing on the other side. Another place I used to love going on vacation though, my cousin, she and her, like her family had, well they still have it, I shouldn't say had. They have a place down in the Outer Banks, I do believe it's Kitty Hawk, and I used to love going there with them. I love the beach, I love water. Need just a little bit more. Now I know this is more of an orangey look, and of course, I'll play around with some more bronze looks and shades. But for the time being, I think this looks good. So I am gonna go back in now to do more of a seamless blend with the shimmer and the other shades. I'm gonna go in with Smack That. Just dust a little Smack That underneath here. And of course, we always clean it up, so never fret. Makeup is not permanent. We can play around with it. We can move it around. Give her just a little bit of smoke. So we're gonna go in just a little bit, just a little bit with, with I'm So Icy. Just one little dab. Gonna bring it in. Smoke her out here a little bit. Might have to do more. A couple dabs. And obviously take that down just a little. Now, we're gonna take this brush and really blend it together. No color on it. We're gonna take a flat brush and we're going to go in with O Snap. So we just want, from O Snap, just a little underneath. You can kind of see the sparkle it gives the little shimmer and that's all we want right now with with this area right here just a little all right so let's clean up the eye look obviously now the thing that sucks sometimes about working with these metallic shimmer shades is that you get it all all over your face. Now I'm gonna go in with my micellar water. Bob, I would love it if you didn't lick my feet, my dude. I'm pretty sure in another lifetime Bob was a man and he had a huge foot fetish because he loves my feet so much. So we're gonna go in with Wayne Goss it is his, what is this called? This is the Radiance Boosting Face Palette with Satin Bronze and a Bronze Sculpt. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a flat, dense brush for the sculpting side of the house. Ooh, that's dark. I'm not used to, but oh, it moves around a lot. Okay, we're safe make me look like I have less of a forehead. So I want to sculpt out my cheeks. Let me push it up. Never down. I think he ate cat food. Maybe that's what it was. So now it looks crazy, but you can see the difference. And obviously when we put some bronzer and bronzer and some blush on, won't look so bad. I think I'm gonna need more of a fluffy. This doesn't really blend as well. So I'm gonna get a fluffy brush and do more of that. So now I'm gonna take, cause I would like to look like I do not have a double chin. So I'd like to look like I have a sculpted chin. And all contouring is, 
is creating shadows. So moving things forward on the face and moving things back on the face. So see, no jawline, I have a jawline. And of course, like I said, we will blend it down. We are gonna use a smaller brush just to go in on the contour of my nose. Give myself a cute little button nose and do it on the end there. And then one up here, which makes this light part stick out, which you'll see when we do highlighting to make my pout look bigger. Do this because it creates what looks like a shadow. All right, now we're gonna go in with the fluffy brush, which will help diffuse that. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the bronze side of the house. And bronzer, as you can see, is more of an orangey tone, which just gives you this all over summer glow. So that's the point of bronzer. You just put it where typically the sun hits your face. I do like that palette, that looks really nice. And it still gives you this nice glow where you don't look powdery, which is the whole purpose. So now I'm gonna go in with a clean baby wipe and we're going to just clean up underneath where we sculpted. We want a nice clean line there to look even more fierce. Now we're gonna go in with the Wayne Goss. This is the Weightless Veil Blush Palette. And it also has a really pretty highlighter shade in it. So we're just gonna use both of these. Let's see how these look. We're gonna go in with the blush shade first. Just right up in here. We don't need to add too much because we mostly want this to be a bronzy look, but we do want a little bit of a flush so we don't look like a copper statue. All right, we're gonna use a fluffy brush like this to put on our highlighter. So now I wanna show you about the button nose effect. Just putting it ever so slightly just brings it forward. So it just looks like I have this cute little button nose. Bronze and highlighted to the heavens. Now, where we put bronzer down here to make my pout look a little bit bigger, we put highlighter up top to make this lip come forward more. Now we're just gonna do it on the top of the eyebrow a little bit. All right, and all over I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and just do that. And then we're gonna take some more Farsali, shake her up. Cause we just want that really nice dewy dewy little look all right now for lips we're gonna go in with the charlotte tilbury it is lip cheat and this is the shade pillow talk we're gonna use a lip brush to get this bad boy out so we're going to line the edges this is so weird uh Early fill in right here. This is such a pretty, pretty color. And so we leave the center of this, of it open because we want to do more of a contouring effect. And so what we're going to do now, which I don't know why I don't have it out here, is gloss which is actually going to make your lips look poutier, plumper. You got it. This is the P. Louise. This is the Lip Drip. So we just want to have a nice little uh, pouty a little pouty pout. So, 
I am gonna zoom you guys out and we'll do final thoughts together. Apparently it, Bob needed his own camera time and mommy time because he is just loving on me right now. So I really do love this look. I know for some are probably like, oh my goodness, your contour and bronzing is like so dark. Right now I have what's considered studio lighting on my face. So let's take one off and see what it looks like in more of a natural light. Now, as you can see, it's not as harsh with that. See how glaring that is? But it's better when I do up close so that way you guys can see the colors a little bit better. <gasps> yes, I. <laughs> He's such a mama's boy. And you can see more of the glow now. It's not so much studio lighting, but I'm absolutely loving this look. I'm gonna take some pictures. We will insert them here so you can see some still photos of the look. And we'll do one last go in and zoom just so you guys can get a full feel and look, full feel for the look, I guess. So let me know in the comments what you think below. What else do you guys want me to do? Like what kind of summer series should we do? You know, this this is not just my channel, guys, as we listen to Bob just lick my hand right now. <laughs> what, what other videos would you like to see in the summer makeup series? Anything in particular that you want to try? Any products that you want to try, but you want me to spend my money on it first and try it. Because I can do that. <laughs> okay, maybe I lied. Maybe he's not so much into feet anymore. Maybe he's into hands. <sighs> All right, guys. That is it for this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day doing whatever it is that you're going to go do now. I'm happy that you have you know chosen to spend a little bit of time with me here on youtube i appreciate you guys for all the support and all the love that you do give me and of course before you leave be sure to subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon so you get notified each and every time that i drop a video <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next one i'm just happy for myself because i sorry <laughs> Which is going to make <laughs> Can you look alive for this? <laughs> nope, don't let that makeup look off. No, no, not yet. Not yet, not yet. I don't know why I'm like eating this. It's like little ice cream. <laughs>